Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asad Ahmed and I'm a professor of Arabic and Islamic studies at the University of California, Berkeley, and a visiting faculty member at Bayan. It is my pleasure to offer these brief remarks about Muhammad Ali, a student whom I had in my Islamic philosophy and theology class at Bayan. I consider Muhammad to be one of the brightest students I've had the pleasure and privilege of teaching in my career, which spans more than a decade and a half. He is not just interested in the contents of the texts of the Islamic tradition, in all its technicalities and intricacies, but also in understanding how the tradition developed out of the internal frameworks and dialectics. The plurality that is found in the Islamic tradition is to be found in the internal growth the internal developments, the internal debates of the tradition, and Muhammad is deeply committed to understanding these matters. Especially his knowledge of the Shiite theological tradition was extremely important in enhancing conversations in class. Muhammad is a humble, uh, young, consummate scholar, uh, someone whose insights are going to be extremely important for the Muslim community. He is sincerely committed to the community and to scholarship. I wish him all the best and look forward to future conversations with him. Congratulations, Muhammad. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulullah wa alihi. My time at Bayan has come to an end. After four years, I spent my time at Bayan pursuing two degrees. One in divinity and Islamic chaplaincy and another in Islamic education. In that time, I have had the privilege of sharing space with professors from all over the country who work in academia, who are at the forefront of Muslim chaplaincy, who are transforming communities, women who are changing the face of scholarship, professional counselors who are addressing the challenges of mental health in our communities, with heroes who are addressing the challenge of poverty and food insecurity, all from various schools of thought and backgrounds all seeking to define what it means to be Muslim in America, what it means to be human in our world. I have shared space with and been inspired by students who are imams, scholars, chaplains, educators, activists, artists, councilmen, fathers, mothers, leading, leaders in various communities and institutions. I was able to see life through their experiences, to be challenged by their perspective, and add their knowledge to my knowledge. Their openness and willingness to be vulnerable together with me has tied us together, such that I find myself grieving the end of this experience, like I'm being separated from my family. I want to thank all of you for your honest engagement. I want to apologize if I push too hard, if I ask too many questions, if I continued discussions into your breaks when you needed a break. For me, being with you all was my break. It was literally the only use of my vacation time over the last several years. I was going to pull as much as I could, could out of each of you, and I was going to give as much as I could. I hope that I did that. To me, this experience was about building unity through understanding and pushing the evolution of Islamic scholarship and leadership in our time. And there's much more to be done. But I am so proud to see you all as part of our shared future. I want to thank Bayan leadership, Jihad Turk, Munir, Fuad, Cesar, the whole CST community for housing and supporting Bayan. I want to thank my father, Hassan Ali, and my mother, Rukhaya Ali. My journey began long before Bayan. My mother's memorization of the Quran while I was just a fetus was my first university. And she has continued to challenge me and inspire me ever since. No words can ever express my gratitude to her. I only hope that I can live a life that makes her proud. I wanna thank all of my older brothers and sisters who have challenged me, taught me, and supported me in their unique ways. I want to thank uh, the community of Beit Adin and its aftermath that have challenged me and taught me. I want to thank communities in North Carolina and the Bay Area that gave me opportunities to grow I want to thank brothers that I met while working as a chaplain in Solano State Prison. I wasn't the only one teaching. You all taught me so much about brotherhood and community. Thank you for challenging me and supporting me. Thank you to my other teachers, Jafar Muhibbullah, my brother from another mother, 
and Sayyid Kamal al-Haydari, whose teachings have been the backdrop through my time at Bayan and beyond. Thank you to Sayyid Abdi and the Bay Area for his tremendous support as well. Thank you to my work supervisors who have supported me through these years, Tanya, Brian, Kurt, and Rosalie. Thank you to my own family, my children, Sakina, Awesome, Kamal, and Fatima, for being resilient, loving, affectionate, and appreciative. You all have been a whole university unto yourself, and you continue to teach me so much. No words can appreciate the support of my wife, Bhavani. The all night papers, the weeks away, or being dragged along, the inattentiveness at time, being my sounding board, being my personal tutor, being my student, believing in me from day one. Believe me, there's nothing better in life than living with the person who inspires you most. Thank you to Allah for the blessing of all of you in my life. Thank you to Allah for the blessing of mind, of heart, and of spirit. And thank you to Allah for his book, the Quran. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.